Ready for a love story? Click on play and join the fun with Alex and Lily. Hey kids, don't be mad. You can't have fun if you're mad. Of course, you don't get anything out of being mad, but sharing will make you happy. Now that I think about it, do you want to listen to a love story? Great! That way we can play and dress you up as the protagonists. This tale tells the story of a really good lady dog who lives in a rich house. One day, several cats arrived to this house and they made her life impossible. The doggie was sad because she felt lonely and her owner didn't even notice what those cats were doing to her. And also, she didn't want any other dogs at home unless they were of pure breed. So one day, the lady doggie ran away to put an end to her suffering. But she also found herself feeling really lonely. Luckily, one day, she finds another dog. He was not of pure breed, but he was really good. And Max will be this dog. <laughs> The dog fell in love with our lady dog the minute he saw her. She was of pure breed, rich, and very pretty. But he didn't dare tell her about his feelings. He was a homeless dog who lived out in the street, and he was not of pure breed. But since the breed or the money are things that don't really matter, they could see that the only important thing was that they had a good heart. And the dog convinced our lady dog to go back home and face those cats that made her life impossible because she didn't deserve to be treated that way. How about we finish the story with Kira? In the end, the lady dog confronted the cats and she also realized she was in love with the homeless dog. And that's how they lived happily ever after and ate as much spaghetti as they pleased without getting mad at each other. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Lily. Those toys are so cool. They remind me of the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, I see. You have these toys because you want me to tell you the story, right? All right, then. Lily will become Goldilocks. And Alex will be a bear. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a house in the woods where a family of bears lived. Every morning before breakfast, they would go out for a stroll. One of those days, during this morning stroll, a little girl came to their house. It's a girl with blonde and curly hair Everyone called Goldilocks. <laughs> this is a beautiful house. I wonder who lives here. Let's have a look, the girl said. Goldilocks went into the bear's house and sat on one of the couches. But since the comfiest one was that of the baby bear, she decided to use that one. And she was so unlucky that she broke it. Then she went to the kitchen, where she found three bowls with porridge in them. But since Papa Bear's was too hot and Mama Bear's was too salty, she ended up eating the Baby Bear's porridge. <laughs> Lastly, Goldilocks went to the bedroom, where she found three beds. <laughs> wow, Lily, you look great as Goldilocks. How about we dress Alex now as a bear and we can finish the story together? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Have you been paying attention to the story, Alex? All right, let's dress you up as the baby bear. <laughs> After having the baby bear's porridge for breakfast, Goldilocks went to the bedroom where she found three beds. And since she was tired, she decided to sleep in one of them. But since Papa Bear's was too tall and Mama Bear's was too hard, she decided to sleep in the Baby Bear's. It was the comfiest one. 
In the meantime, the Bear family was done with their morning stroll. And so when they got back home, they found that someone had broken Baby Bear's chair. And when they went to the kitchen, they found that someone had eaten Baby Bear's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a cute bear, Alex. <laughs> Let's go finish the story with Goldilocks Lily. <laughs> Lastly, the bear family went to the bedroom and found Goldilocks sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. <laughs> who woke up at that exact moment and ran away. And she never ever again went into the house of strangers to use their stuff. <laughs> Instead, she learned how to enjoy what she already had without feeling jealous of what other people have. Yay! And so, they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, Alex. Hi, Max. I can tell Alex is really surprised about Max's costume. <laughs> Dressed up as a tiger, you remind me of a character in the Jungle Book story. If you want, we can tell the story while we dress you all up. Also, I think Kira had already dressed as a panther, one of the characters. <laughs> Ready, kiddos? This is the story of a boy who Kira Bagheera, the Black Panther, found in the jungle. Kira Bagheera thought she'd take the boy with the friendly wolf pack. They named him Mowgli and raised him as one of their own. While she made sure nothing bad happened to him, Mowgli learned to live in the jungle and made lots of animal friends. But not all of them were friendly. Ka, the snake, and especially Shere Khan, the tiger, were obsessed with getting rid of Mowgli. The leader of the wolf pack decided there was only one way to keep the boy safe. They had to take them to the man village, where he'd be with those of his own kind. Wow, you are definitely Kira Bagheera now, the panther! <laughs> Mowgli didn't understand why he had to leave his home, where he lived with all his loved ones. So, he thought he'd rather escape than be taken to the man village. And he went into the jungle, where he found a nice bear called Baloo, who loved dancing and singing. And together, they ate lots of honey. But suddenly, some monkeys captured Mowgli and took him to their king, who thought that Mowgli, as he was a man, could tell him how to make fire. Luckily, Bagheera and Baloo rescued him and explained that he had to go back with the humans since the tiger Shere Khan was looking for him. I'm not leaving the jungle, the boy yelled. And once again, he went into the jungle. Do you want to hear the rest of the story with Kira Bagheera and Shere Khan, Max? Bagheera and Baloo looked for the boy everywhere and they finally found him confronting the frightening tiger. Suddenly, a storm broke out, and even though Shere Khan attacked Baloo, Mowgli grabbed the branch of a tree that had just set on fire because of a lightning strike. He shooed the tiger away with it. Fire was Shere Khan's biggest fear. In the end, Mowgli understood that he should be with humans. If not, he'd be putting his friends in danger. And from that day on, he had a new home. But he would never forget his true family, his jungle family. Hi, Alex. Hi, Lily. Today, we're going to play fairy tales. We'll decide which one I'm going to tell you. It may be Little Red Riding Hood, Pinocchio, The Princess and the Frog, or Cinderella. Let's see which one it's going to be. <laughs> the one I like the most is Pinocchio. It's an incredible adventure and very original. Yes! We're so lucky! Alex will be Pinocchio. And Lily? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Yay! 
Once upon a time, there was Geppetto, a woodcarver that made a wooden puppet he named Pinocchio. He was so fond of it that he wished it was a real boy. At night, the blue fairy, seeing that Geppetto didn't have any kids, gave life to the puppet. The following morning, the woodcarver, very happy, sent him to school. But of course, accompanied by Jiminy Cricket, the counselor he had been assigned by the blue fairy. But instead of going to school, Pinocchio made friends with two bad boys, ignoring the cricket's advice, and went to do some mischief with them. When she saw the situation, the blue fairy casted a spell on him. Now, every time he lied, Pinocchio's nose would grow longer and longer. Pinocchio ended up admitting that he didn't always tell the truth. And he felt sorry. He tried to find Geppetto. But he found out he was no longer at home. He went out since Pinocchio hadn't gone to school, got lost, and ended up inside the tummy of a whale. Now you are Pinocchio. But don't worry, the story is not over yet. Yay! Lily, have you been listening? Well, you're going to be the whale! <laughs> Pinocchio, with the help of the cricket, set sail to go rescue Geppetto. And they asked the whale to let his dad go. But instead, it swallowed them both as well. Luckily, nothing bad happened to them, and they found Geppetto. Yay! And all together, they thought of a way to get out of the whale's tummy. I'm done with you, Lily. Yay! Thanks to Jiminy Cricket, they lit up a fire that made the whale sneeze. <laughs> and so, they could get out of his tummy. In the end, they were all saved. Pinocchio went back home and back to school, and from that day on, he always behaved. In exchange for his kindness, the blue fairy turned him into a real boy. And they all lived happily ever after. If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family.